Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I am playing with the Warmest Hearts Bundle. This is from the September to December 2023 mini catalog from Stampin' Up. It's so fun. I <laughs> have said many times I thought of my teenagers as soon as I saw this. I think it's designed to be a thermos. However, it has dyes to make it look just like those water bottles my teenagers carry around with them everywhere they go. So I couldn't wait to get it. Um, I have several projects on my blog. If you're looking for other ideas, make sure you click the link here. Go back over. Um, this project, <laughs> if you know anything about me, you know I love pumpkins. I cannot wait to buy pumpkins. I can't wait to buy anything pumpkin related. And so of course I had to integrate pumpkin in with this set. So I made a 3D project, a treat holder. Can you guess what's inside? I've never seen these. I hop cold foam ice latte pumpkin spice. Now I was looking for the Starbucks via lattes i couldn't find them so i don't know if they didn't make them anymore but i found these and they work just as well now i'm not a coffee drinker but most everybody i know is a coffee drinker and this would make a fun gift my college daughter would love this as well so we're going to make a little box to hold that and then we're going to make this cute little cluster of goodness on the front let's make our box first okay i am using crumb cake and I've actually adjusted my measurements a little bit from the original project because I had an old um, Starbucks Via Latte thing in my drawer, super old. So I measured that, but then I wanted fresh ones and I couldn't find it. So I, I've adjusted the measurements a little bit. You're gonna need a piece of crumb cake that is five and a half by seven and a fourth. On the long side, no, yeah, no, let's start on the short, <laughs> let's start on the short side. On the short side, you're gonna score it at half an inch, two and a half, three and five. So basically your box is two inches wide and half an inch thick, okay? And then on the long side, score it at half an inch and six and three fourths, okay? Now grab your bone folder. Bone folders are important with your 3D projects. They're gonna make your, um, your lines nice and crisp and your boxes square, right? They'll really stick, stand up the way you want them to stand and, and go together the way you want them to go together. All right, so burnish those lines. Now this box is the same on either end, the same on either side. So it doesn't matter where you start. But on one of the long sides, or one of the short sides, I'm sorry, we're gonna cut off this corner right here. And I'm gonna cut that angle like that. And then I'm just gonna snip these, snip, 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 okay? Now we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So snip that off, cut it, cut this at, a, at an angle when you cut that off, and then snip, snip, and snip. Okay, and that's it. Grab your tear and tape. Your tear and tape is perfect for these half inch tabs. So just put it right there. Tear and tape is a really good, strong adhesive for your 3D projects. Now fold that over and then fold the side over like that. Okay, so you've basically now just made kind of a, a square tube, if you will. This right here is gonna be your back where that edge is. So on one of the ends, fold in the ends, the side tabs, fold in the back tab and then we're gonna put adhesive right here on this one. Tear and tape is called tear and tape because you can tear it. You don't have to have your scissors like with some other tape. All right, now peel that off, close that around like that. Make sure your box is nice and square. All right, and then that's it. We're gonna leave this open up here so that your uh, recipient can open it without tearing it apart. See how perfect that fits in? So same thing, remember the back side is where that edge is. Fold the sides, fold the back, fold the top. And to keep that closed, we're gonna take some copper clay ribbon, this beautiful copper clay. I didn't think I liked this color in May when it came out, but now that it's fall or almost fall, I'm like, oh my gosh, this color is Gorgeous. Sometimes our colors aren't right for a certain season, but perfect for another season. 
Okay, let me grab my ribbon scissors, which have disappeared right here. I'm gonna cut that and we're going to tie a ribbon. Now, if you can find the Starbucks Via Lattes, the bigger ones, not the smaller ones. Um, the one that I had was a peppermint mocha. Um, this box, all you would need to do is change the short, nope, the long side to, to instead of being seven and a fourth, change it to seven and three fourths and then score it the same. And it'll just be a little bit taller and you'll be able to um, put your Via, Starbucks Via in there. Now I realize I didn't put my designer series paper on here. All right, so let's do that. This is our fun um, Them Bones Halloween paper. Of course, the plaid is, is, speaks my name. I love anything plaid. Let's see if I can slide this ribbon back on here. But the idea is that your recipient can just slide the ribbon off, get out their treat, and either reuse the box or put it on display somewhere. I know a lot of the people I give gifts to like to display their cute little boxes that I give them, their treats, on a shelf somewhere, maybe above their desk or on their mantle. Okay, so there's your box. Now, let's get to the star of the show, our little thermos. And I am going to use, um, this is Pecan Pie Gingham from our Glorious Gingham Designer Series paper. And I'm gonna stamp our thermos in Pecan Pie both on the gingham and a piece of Pecan Pie. All right. Now, I am, I'm not using a black ink, which is what I normally do. But All right, so I'm gonna stamp this little, these little things right here are to put on your water bottle. And if you have, either you have a water bottle yourself or you have teenagers in your life, they love to collect stickers to put on their water bottle, it's thermos, whatever you wanna call it. We call it a water bottle around here. All right, so I'm gonna use my Stampin' Blends to color this little mountainscape. And I'm gonna start with Cajun Craze Dark at the bottom. I really wanted it to just kind of go with the color scheme that I'm using. And then we'll use um, pumpkin pie dark. And then pumpkin pie light. And then daffodil delight dark. It was on my other project tray. I had to reach back and grab it. Okay, now, there we go. We are ready to die cut. So let me bring over my cut and emboss machine. And we're gonna layer these on here. We only have one of the thermos slash water bottle die cuts, or um, yeah, die cuts. So we're just, we're gonna have to cut those one at a time. Now, we're gonna have to keep an eye on this as we roll it through to make sure nothing jumps. We want it to stay exactly where it is. If you're worried about that, I recommend post-it tape. All right, I think we're good. So there's our little sticker. And now we'll cut out our other thermos. I think if it has a lid, like this, it's a thermos. If it has a top like this, in my mind, I mean, I guess it's still a thermos, but it could also be those water bottles that my kids love. All right, so the reason we've cut out two of these is because we want it to be two different, we want the bottom to be the plaid and the top to be solid. Now I'm gonna kind of trim off this to a point like that. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and very carefully cut that off. And we'll just put some adhesive right here and put that on like that. So now our thermos is two different colors. And we will add our little sticker like that. 
Now I have done some cutting out ahead of time. I have cut out a Cajun Craze leaf from our autumn leaf dies. Um, I have cut a basic white uh, banner from our stylus shape dies. I'm gonna stamp the thanks in pumpkin pie right in the middle of that. Then we're gonna make a little pumpkin using our pumpkin builder punch. I'm gonna use the larger pumpkin. So I'm gonna pump, punch that out of pumpkin pie. And I'm going to punch the stem out of old olive. And we will get our glue dot and put that stem right there on our pumpkin like that. Now, let's put all of our pieces together. I have cut out a uh, crumb cake nested shape from the nested shape dies. And that's what we're gonna use to layer all of these. Let's see, my dimensionals are here. We'll start with our thermos. And look at your other papers and see what other papers you could use to stamp this cute thermos on. There are lots of good options. Let's see, I'm gonna go a little bit down further. This is the second largest of the nested shape dies. Oops, you know what I forgot to punch out also was the leaf. So let's get that. There we go. And our many glue dots. Like that. Actually, you know what? I did the stem in brown in on my sample, soft suede. Hmm. Well, I guess we're gonna have a green stem. Our pumpkin isn't quite ripe yet. It's still got a green stem. Let's see, maybe I used, not soft suede, our pecan pie. Do I have enough pecan pie to change that? I think I do. Let's change that, because I like it in pecan pie better. There we go. Grab another mini glue dot. I like to use mini glue dots in place of liquid glue sometimes, because you don't have to wait for it to dry, which is so nice. There we go. Put that little leaf right there. And then last but not least, we'll put our, our little thanks. And then all we have to do is put this on the front of our box. And I'm gonna sandwich that ribbon like that. And there you go. How fun is that fall treat? This would make great teacher gifts, you guys. If you have teachers in your life, spoil them rotten. They deserve it. Their job is so tough. And mid-October, early October, this would be a great treat. Or even mid-September. Who cares? Find those uh, cold foam ice lattes and treat your teacher, your postal worker, your boss, your, your assistant, whoever, and just give them a little treat. I will link those over on my blog so you can find them. Um, and of course, there'll be a supply list with the complete measurements and two other Warmest Hearts projects. So make sure you visit my blog. Thanks everybody so much for hanging around with me today. I hope you have fun. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.